Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to today's video. So it's been a while since I've been on camera kind of doing some stuff like this and uh, mainly because uh, after um, we came back from Disney World, you know, the holidays came and I got a really bad case of the flu. So I was sick for a while and I'm slowly kind of get back into it and um, just catching up on the rest of my life. And my channel's kind of taken a back burner. So I had planned to post a lot in December, it just didn't happen. But this is a video that I really wanted to do as a follow up to our Disney vacation, even though it's been now two months since we went to our Disney vacation. Um, but I did, because I was getting a lot of questions about some of the things that we bring and, you know, kind of like mom stuff, like what do you bring uh, as a mom? And then also kind of what uh, some recommendations somebody asked me about how did I get my hair to not frizz? Uh, and I do have a product for that. So um, I'm gonna go over some, you know, kind of my favorite things that I bring with me. Some things are, are things that I do on a daily basis um and then some things are this specifically what i brought for disney world so let's go ahead and get started okay the first thing is something i talked about in a video um i want to say probably early november it was it was i think right before we left to disney world and i it was in the royal caribbean dinner menus video so i talked about it um they sponsored that video and uh so you if you didn't watch that you can talk you can watch me talk about this product in that video, but I did want to do a follow up to that video. So this is called Magic Mine and this is Nootropics and I have been taking it. They did send me a 30 day supply and I really started to see a difference within two weeks and I have continued to take it and I am now purchasing it myself. So while they did send me 30 day supply, I am taking this every day and basically it's a Nootropics. So it, it um, it kind of extends the length of your coffee and it I think the idea is that you can eventually like wean off of coffee now I have not weaned off of coffee yet however um, I do see a difference with this now I didn't take this when I was really sick for like two weeks I was really sick and I just didn't take anything right I didn't drink coffee I was just you know trying just to survive. But um, this was something I did take with me to Disney World. I did bring, I think, six bottles because we were there for six nights and I take one of these a day. So I do have a big, large cup of coffee in the morning. And then what I would do is I would just kind of pack this and I would take this. Now we did afternoon, so we would, I would, you know, do Genie Plus and I would stack and then we would go in the afternoon. So what I would do is I would take the shot of the uh, Magic Mind right before we left. And it kind of like woke me up, even though I didn't need, like I didn't need a cu another cup of coffee. I took a shot of this. Now this, um, it actually, it doesn't, I wouldn't say it's tasty, but it's, I actually like the taste. It's not a bad taste. I'm not gonna take it now because it's actually pretty late, but um, it doesn't also keep you up. So you could, it also can calm you down. Um, and I don't know for other, you know, people out there that, I'm the one that does the Genie Plus. I'm the one that, you know, has to do everything. Disney can kind of bring out my anxiety. So this actually helps in that regard too. So I have really liked these. I have continued to take this. I definitely, um, I work from home. So what I do on a daily basis is I've been taking this probably like at, you know, 10 or 11 um, when I start to feel like the coffee wearing out. And it definitely helps my, pro you know, my productivity and kind of just refocuses me, which I really like. But it definitely did help in Disney as well um, you know as I you know kind of like I said took a shot right before um, there's no alcohol but I did take the, one of these shots right before we left to the park so I do highly recommend it um, if you haven't watched that video I will post a link up here it's the beginning part of the video but this portion is not sponsored but I do really like this and recommend it and I forgot you can save um, I'm not sure what the percentage is but you can save with, with a promo code they did give me a promo code it is F Shannon 20 so you can save uh, money with my F Shannon 20 uh, at your first uh, subscription order of Magic Mind. Okay, keeping on with the health, you know, aspect of, uh, you know, Disney. This is something that I've continued to take, but I take a, a higher dosage when I'm at Disney World. And I did a sponsored video for them um, probably almost a year and a half or two years ago. I haven't done any work. This post is not sponsored. I have been purchasing this, but this is Relief Factor. This is fantastic. Um, they come in these little uh, packets and you they're like pre like prepackaged. And these help with like joint pain, muscle pain, everything. And I 
I, you know, exercise, I have a Peloton, I, you know, I work out, you know, five or six days a week, but there's, there's Disney pain because I don't really walk. I don't run anymore. And so when you're walking in the parks and you're walking, you know, five, six, seven, eight miles a day, it's a different type of pain. And I would, you know, definitely my hips. And I noticed that in June that I hadn't really taken this in a while. So in November, I started taking this, um, probably again, probably about a month before our trip. And then during our, the week, I just kind of increased my dosage. So basically I take one of these one, once a day. You could, the maintenance doses is really like two a day, but I take like one a day. When I was there, I was taking three a day. I was taking, you know, sometimes two, but you know, if, the, if I was extra sore towards the end of the trip, I did have enough to do three a day. So I was doing definitely one in the morning, one at night, and it definitely helped with the aches and pains. I didn't nearly have the aches and pains that I did in June. Definitely highly recommend it. So if you're someone that like, you know, you're starting to feel, again, I've mentioned it before, I'm 47, you start to feel things. Like you start to feel, um, you start to feel your body. And I definitely recommend this. So uh, Relief Factor, fantastic. Um, I don't know if I still have a link. If I do, I'll post it below. I don't think I have a promo code, but if I do, I'll have it below. I don't know if anything is still active, um, but I do, I, I think this product is fantastic as well. Now this next product is a product that is for my son, but so it's kind of like something for moms. And this is something that my son has every morning, um, mainly because he doesn't, he's not a big breakfast eater. And we were always struggling with him eating breakfast. But if you are, you know, maybe you don't have that problem during, you know, when you're at home, but when you're on vacation or when you're in Disney World or wherever, maybe you have something like that. I cannot recommend this product enough. This is the Healthy Lights Grow Daily. They have a couple different versions depending on the age of your child. So my son has been eating, the, uh, drinking this. So basically he has a shake every morning and and it has, um, it's got nutrients based on, you know, your kid's age and what they need to grow. And it has, um, you know, 12 grams, just the powder alone without the milk has 12 grams of protein. So five grams of fat, 22 grams of carbs, um, two grams of uh, fiber and nine grams of sugar. So um, it's, a, it's a whey protein, but it's a really good and it's really easy. Like, you know, when you're on vacation, we tend to have like my son doesn't, we don't really do a lot of cereal in our house. But when we're on vacation, you know, we kind of go a little bit, you know, we let we let him indulge a little bit. But as long as I'm having you know, some protein and he's kind of getting that good foundation, um, he does have this every morning because you know, in the morning, we have very little time to get ready to school. And he has this every morning before school. Now the weekend, sometimes not, um, but he actually loves it. So he kind of really likes having it. Um, and you know, it just depends. But I think if you are one that struggles with your kid to get like a good protein meal, you wanna make sure they're getting some sort of healthy nutrients, um, especially when you're on Disney, if you're, you know, maybe you don't have a kitchen and you just, you're in a studio or a regular hotel room and you need um, something easy Easy. this is pretty easy so highly recommend you can get it on Amazon they have their own website too but we actually buy it on Amazon so um, also recommend this so I was talking about um, you know getting sore and walking I did have these shoes in June and I wore them again and I honestly think they are I, I bought them not for Disney I bought them just to have new sneakers and I actually wanted the sneakers because you can they're made so that you don't have to like tie them you can just kind of put your foot in and you don't have to like bend over uh, just because I don't want to bend over but I'm lazy but um, they are actually fantastic for Disney World. So I have two pairs. I have, I actually have three pairs, but I have two different styles. So this is the Lima. This is the Kizik's. So K-I-Z-I-K. So this is the Kizik's. And basically how they came, became popular is you can just kind of put them in your, you know, slide your foot in. You don't have to, um, you know, tie them. You can kind of just slip your foot in and it's very easy. So they they have this support back here. Um, I have, so this is the Lima. This is like, beige or like off-white ivory I'm not sure but that's the one I have this and then I have the Irvine so the Irvine is kind of like a converse type uh, uh, shoe the Irvine is the one that I like the style the most however the Lima has more support and one of the reasons why I do like them is they have a lot of um, a lot of support in the arch so when you're walking 
all those miles at Disney World, these really support your feet. Um, like I said, the Lima does have a little bit more support. I tried to wear these. I did wear these a lot, but as the week wore on and I started getting a little bit more sore, I did switch the Lima. So I like the style of these. I do like these more. These just look a little bit more athletic. But again, I cannot recommend these shoes a, a, enough. Um, I applied to be an affiliate and I got denied and I'm still talking about them. That's how much I love these shoes. So I think they're fantastic. If I do eventually become an affiliate, I'll put an affiliate link. If not, they'll just be a regular link. I think they're fantastic shoes. I absolutely love them. They actually just came out with a new style. So what I have is I have these in black but it has the white bottom, which I like, but I don't love. However, they just came out with a new style called Milan, and that's the next style that I'm gonna get. I'm probably gonna get that in all black, and then also like a beige as well, because they look a little bit um, like leaner and, and, and thinner. So still probably not like the athletic ones like these, but um, are they the most fashionable shoe? No, they do have kind of um, a wide foot at the top, but they're super comfortable. And if you're gonna be in the parks for a long period of time, I cannot recommend these shoes enough. Okay, and another thing that, um, this is something we did for the first time, I think it was June as well as our trip, but I'm not sure, but we, I got these Thermo Flask at um, Costco. And we never tried this before. I know the Stanley Cups are really popular right now. I'm not into that, but we took these and we would sometimes fill it up with ice, but you don't even need a dice. You just need just regular cold water, but it kept the water cold all day long. And you could just refill it at any of the water stations. You just go into any of the quick services. You could just go in and fill it. But um, I believe this one is 16 ounces is what it fills. So it's like about a, a regular water bottle, but we would, you know, chill the water in the refrigerator, fill this up, and then we would just get water, you know, fresher throughout the day. We had two of them. Again, I got these at Costco, but they're fantastic. And while they are bulky, it really helped keep the water cold. November wasn't as bad, you know, big of an issue. It wasn't hot, but it wasn't cold either. Uh, June, it was hot. June, it was hot. And uh, these were fantastic. So it was the first time we never really carried anything like this. And, but I really, really liked these. So um, if you've never carried anything like that before, because we've been going to the parks and we never did, I highly recommend it. It was really easy to refill with water at any of the quick service stations. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about two beauty products just because um, people had asked me about it and I wanted to talk about them. So the first was, how did I keep my hair from not frizzing? It is this, it is the Dry Bar Liquid Glass Miracle Smooth Soothing Sealant and it is amazing. So basically you wash your hair, you spray this all over your hair and then you blow it dry or straight iron or whatever. I have the Air Straight, the Dyson Air Straight, which I highly recommend, it's amazing. But even without that, even just regular blow dry, this just kind of seals your hair and it really helps keep the frizz. Um, I. I'm almost out of this one. I just ordered a, a second one as a backup because it's gonna. I'm gonna need it soon. I don't use. I don't use this every day, but I, I use it every day when I'm at Disney and it, or when I'm on a cruise. Absolutely. So it's fantastic. It's kind of like a keratin in a bottle. I cannot recommend this product enough. It is what keeps my hair from frizzing when I'm at Disney. Okay, I lied. I actually have three beauty products, but um, they're they're kind of related. So the next two um, are both SPF. So this one is from CL Cosmetics. This is a brand new brand. Um, I did a whole video on this brand on my Shannon Loves Makeup channel. I'll post a link up here, but specifically this powder. So this is just a loose powder and it feels like a, a regular loose powder. So you can see that it has like the mesh and it's just a regular loose powder. Um, and I would use this to set my makeup, but it has SPF in it. So this one, the powder has SPF 30. And really just whenever I felt like I needed a little bit extra, a little bit more, um, I could put this on and I set my makeup with this. Now it is a little bulky. I hope they come out with mini sizes or a pressed powder because I would like to have the powder, um, you know, like this in, you know, so that you can carry it. So, but I would put this on um, before I left to kind of give a little bit more um, SPF to my face. I did directly use regular SPF, but this was kind of an added and I do really like it. Now they do have a tinted, uh, a tinted, 
a serum or a skin tint and then a blush. I have I have the blush as well and I didn't use those in Disney. I use those on the cruise which I, I think they're fantastic on the cruise but for Disney I like you know a little bit more coverage but um, for the for Disney I do recommend this and then for touch-ups in the park. Now this I did carry and you can tell because it's all kind of everything's come off but this is a hydrating glow mist and this is an SPF. This is from Naked Naked Sundays. It is a brand, I believe it's um, an Australian brand, Naked Sundays, and this is the Hydrating Glow Mist SPF 50. So basically, when I would feel like I needed a little bit more sun protection, I would just kind of go and just spray it. And first of all, it smells amazing. So it can like, I don't want to eat it. Um, it can, uh, like help set your makeup or also hydrate. So you start to feel like dry. I sometimes start to feel like that. Um, this will kind of give you that hydration, but then it also is adding SPF. Other thing is, I don't know about you as you know, if you have kids that let you reapply sunscreen, my son does not. So I was actually able to use this on him on his face and you know, just trying to hold your, hold your face. He didn't really like it, but this was much easier to apply than trying to, you know, put uh, a, a lotion on his face. So this is from Naked Sundays. This is their Hydrating Glow Mist. Their, their products are fantastic. Their SPF products are fantastic. I think it's pretty much all SPF. Um, their serum is the one that I use as my sunscreen, uh, like under my makeup, but this was one that I brought in my bag, you know, every day with me to the park and I use it every day and I use it on my son. So highly recommend it, made it so much easier and um, I just think it's amazing. Okay, so there's one more product I want to talk about, and this was something I specifically got for Disney. Now, I do wear glasses. I don't have a, a high prescription. My prescription is like one. I do have an astigmatism, but I can't see far away. I can see close. Um, so I don't like wearing contacts, because when I wear contacts and then I go to look at my phone, I can't really see it. And that's a problem, because I'm the one doing Genie Plus. So I, you know, I need to see my phone. So I like to wear, you know, glasses and, but I also, you wear sun, I, most of my sunglasses are prescription. So I'm going in and out, in and out. So I have sunglasses and, and regular glasses, sunglasses and regular glasses. And that's what you're happening when you're at Disney. So what I did is I bought these from, it's called Click Like, like Me, I think. Click Like Me or Click li, Click li Me, I don't remember, but that's how, that's how it's um, spelled. And again, I am not an affiliate. I didn't, I bought these myself. You just send in your prescription, but these are, you know, glasses. So they're sunglasses, but then you can just click this off and you've got glasses. So when you're going and they're actually a little dirty, but um, so when you, uh, you know, go inside, you go inside a queue, you're inside, you can just take that off. And then when you go back outside, you just click this off. You're not constantly taking on and off the glasses because when you do that, then your glasses can get um, scratched. And that's happened to me more times than I can count. So I really, I got two pairs of these. I really like them. I do plan on getting more. So it was really convenient, really liked them. They fit the prescription, everything looked great. Um, really liked them. So I highly recommend them and they weren't, they weren't, they were, they were reasonably priced for, you know, for glasses. Okay, so there you have it. Those are some of my favorite things and some, I guess, maybe unique things that I brought to um, make my Disney trips a little bit easier, a little bit more enjoyable, and um, just, I don't know, <laughs> kind of a variety of things. But I thought it was just topics and uh, things that I bring that I think that maybe people don't think about. Um, and maybe it's just because I do have a beauty YouTube channel as well. Some of the products I have, um, maybe the average person hasn't seen that doesn't really do beauty YouTube. So anyway, um, with that, if you like this video, click like, click and subscribe. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video. And if you have anything that you bring to Disney, anything that makes your trips easier, you know, either as a parent or just for yourself, leave it in the comments below. I think that'll be very helpful to, um, you know, other viewers. Uh, I always like you know reading other people's tips and things so that's how um, we found our stroller that we used which I think is the best Disney stroller it's called the Zoe stroller but um, you know that's how I heard was just from other people's comments so thanks everyone for watching bye everyone <laughs>